Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In the last video, we had completed the design of our single page website, and uh, this is how it looks. So, in this video, I'll show you how to add animations to the elements on our hero section. For that, we'll be using a library called AOS. So, first of all, let me show you a demo of what we are going to do in this video. Let me just reload this page. And uh, we can see these animations on different elements of our hero section. So this is what we are going to be doing in this video. You can use the same method and do the animations for the other sections as well. But I'm going to show you just the hero section. So first of all, let's go to the AOS library. Just search for AOS animation library on Google and you'll get the link of the home page. I'll also leave the link in the description below. So just go ahead and click on that. And here's the home page of the AOS animation library. If you scroll down, you can see the different demos that it has. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see two links over here, one to download and one to view on GitHub. So let's go ahead and click on view on GitHub. And uh, here we can see the complete source code. And here are some instructions on how to install it and how to use it. So first of all, let's see how to install it. The first thing you need to do is add this line of code in the head section of our web page and then add this script in the body just before the body ends. So let's go to our VS code and uh, let's add these lines of code. Here is the HTML of our web page. So let's copy this line of code from here and we'll paste it in the head section right here. And uh, let's copy these lines of code from here and we'll paste it just before the body ends. So we have added the necessary code for our AOS library to run. And we have even initialized the AOS library over here with this code AOS init. Now to add the animation to the elements, you have to use a data attribute. So let's go to where we want to add our animations. So this is the hero container and we want to add the animations to these elements over here. So first of all, let me just add the animation to the paragraph. So for the paragraph, we want to have the animation where the paragraph slides down. So here you can type data dash AOS and we'll set that equal to slide down. Now let's go to our web page and see how the animation works. So let's refresh our page and we can see that the paragraph slides down. Right now the animation is too fast, so we can use another attribute called data AOS duration and we can set the speed of the animation. So let's go to our HTML and here we will add one more attribute called data dash AOS dash duration and uh, we'll set it equal to 2000. Now let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and we can see the animation has slowed down. So in this way we can add the animation to all the other elements. So let's go to our HTML and the next thing we want to animate is the H2. For the H2 we want to add the fade in animation. So we'll just type data dash AOS equals fade in. If you want to get the list of all the animations that are available in the AOS library you can go to the GitHub page of the AOS library and uh, you'll get all the animations listed there. And uh, we'll also set the data duration. And uh, we'll set it to 2000 as well. So now let's refresh our page. And we can see both the animations are working. Now we want to have the second animation run a little late after the first animation. So when the paragraph slides down, we want to have the animation of the H2 midway through the animation of the first one. So we can add another attribute called data dash AOS dash delay. So let's type data dash AOS dash delay and we'll set the delay to 1000. Now let's go ahead and refresh the page. And we can see that the animation is working perfectly. So let's go ahead and add the same animation to the next H2. So just copy this from here and uh, we'll add these attributes over here and we'll change the delay to 1400. So let's refresh the page.
and we can see that all the three animations are working perfectly. The next thing we will animate is this image over here on the right. So let's go to this division called right and in that we have the image. So we'll give the attributes to the img tag. So we'll type data dash aos and for the image we want to have the animation fade in from the right. So we'll type fade left. So the image will fade into the left and for this one we will set a duration of 3000 and we'll also set a delay of 1200 so the image will start animating before the second heading starts animating but it will have a longer duration than the second heading so let's go to our website and let's refresh our page and the animations are working all right now the last things to animate are the buttons and the social media icons so let's go to our HTML and uh, here for the anchor tag we will just copy these three lines of code from here and we'll paste it right here and we'll set the animation to fade and we'll set the duration to 2000 and uh, the animation delay to 2500 now we'll just copy these three lines of code to the images now for the first logo we will set a delay of 2800 for the second one we will set a delay of 2900 and for the third one we will set a delay of 3000 so let's go to our website and refresh our page and all the animations are working all right so that's basically it for this video we have seen how to add a library to our website and how to use animations and in the next one or two videos we will see how to make this website responsive so that even the mobile users of our website can have a great experience and after that we'll be ready to deploy our website to different platforms so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day